how porn addiction is the biggest threat to young men. By valuetainment. If you don't know valuetainment, this is Patrick Bet David. This is his media company, Valuetainment. And he's going to talk to us about porn addiction and how it's the threat to young men. Do I think it's the biggest threat to young men? No. You know, no. I don't think it's the biggest. But the overconsumption definitely, you know... Yeah, it can it, it it can go a little far. It can go a little far. So let's go ahead and get right on into this. Porn destroys marriages in different ways. Porn destroys relationships in different ways. Porn destroys the youth in a different way. Porn destroys singles in a different way. But let me tell you how far we've come along with porn. When it comes down to porn, did you know porn as an industry is bigger than the NBA, NFL, and MLB combined just in America? And did you know the porn industry generates more revenues than ABC, NBC, CBS combined $15 to $97 billion per year, roughly. And it's around $3,075 per second that the porn industry makes. But let me show you how far we've come along. Did you know the first porn ever produced in America was called The Kiss? Do you know who produced it? Thomas Edison. Yes, Thomas Edison. Let me read you a little bit from this website called theoldest.org about the first porn called the Kiss. No one alive today would have considered The Kiss to be a pornographic film, but at the time of its release, it was considered shocking and obscene. As the name implies, the movie depicted the very first kiss on film. It was a reenactment of the kiss between stage actor May Irwin and John Rice from the final scene of the musical The Widow Jones. Although the kissing scene was very chaste, just a short peck on the lips, it caused widespread uproar. Just a short peck on on the lips. The Roman Catholic Church even called for censorship and moral reform because kissing in public could lead to prosecution. Several newspapers published disapproving editorials and police presence was requested in many places where the film was screened. Today, the kiss is preserved in the U.S. National Film Registry for its cultural significance. Now, let's fast forward 19 years later. The first porn that there's actual a scene penetration, the whole nine is 1915. It's called A Free Ride, produced by unknown you ready listed as gay pari pictures company and this is a whole story about a girl a guy two girls you know threesome the whole nine and now today if i was to ask you right now porn today where do you see it pretty much everywhere by the way did you know the first time child pornography in america became illegal was 1984 did you know the first time that they made animal crush fetish pornography was first made unlawful in 1999 but that initial law was ruled unconstitutional and had to be revised in 2010 19 it's not too long. It's only 25 years ago. There's so many directions to go with this when it comes out to porn. And we even asked ChatGBT, what are the benefits of watching porn? And you have to hear what ChatGBT said about porn. But today we're going to talk about the industry of porn and negative effects of porn in your life. Holy, that intro was good. That was a good intro, y'all. That's what I think. It's a lot of money being made in the porn industry. Hold on. Do I need to twist my moral compass and get into this industry? To make some money? I'm not surprised though. Y'all know how hard OnlyFans hitting? That's why OnlyFans hitting like that. I'm not surprised. Come on now. Are we are we surprised? I don't think so. I'm talking about more money than the than any sports. All the sports, the big sports leagues combined. More than all the news combined? They get into that cheddar in that industry. Am I willing to twist my moral compass to start an industry, to, to get in that industry? And nah, I ain't gonna do it, y'all. Y'all know I'm just joking. I ain't about to. I ain't about to do that. I ain't about to do that. Only fan star Steve. <laughs> nah, I ain't about to do that. But it is crazy. I mean, it went from a kiss. They was going crazy about the kiss, boy. If we had a time traveling machine. And we bought just one take back. Them people would faint. I don't think they could even. They would pass out. If they end up more about that kiss. Boy if they seen the things today. They would roll on the ground. And turn over. Three times. That's crazy. 
But I don't think this is, the video is called The Biggest Threat to Young Men. A lot of women are into this stuff too now. Let's just say the young mind. The young mind. Because it, it's not just young men. It's, it's, it's women too. The young mind. Porn addiction. The biggest threat to the young mind. To the youth. To this generation. Maybe that. You feel me? Because it's not just young men. But that intro was definitely, it was hidden. It was hidden. It got me interested in what else is going to go on in this. I ain't going to lie. Because that's why I was only going to do two videos this week. I was only going to do two. You know, talk about the presidential debate. Talk about how Americans are in debt. But this intro made me want to see more. From just how much money is being made in the industry to how the first one was just a peck and now, you know, they full blown with a lot of this stuff. And then some of the regulations they put in. Let's continue the video though. It, 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 that was getting good. Give value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. So question, ChatGBT, what are the benefits of porn? Number one, sexual education. Pornography can provide a source of sexual education for individuals who may not have access to comprehensive sex education. Number two, sexual exploration and expression. Porn allows individuals to explore their sexual fantasies and desires in a private controlled environment. Number three, stress relief. Number four, improved intimacy. For couples watching porn together serves a mean- Hey y'all, that's stress relief, that's the one. <laughs> That's the one right there. What they say, boy, I need to let one off at the end of the day. At the end of the day, after dealing all that, I need to let one off. <laughs> that's stress relief. That's the way. Means to improve their communication about sexual desires. Number five, normalizing sexual diversity. Number six, economic benefits. The pornography industry generates significant economic activity, providing employment and contributing to the economy through production, distribution, and related services. Ask many porn stars what... Oh, no, nah, we got to go look at all them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sexual education. Oh, that's usually the first time when kids learn about sex stuff. They're they, they not lying. Now, you don't know. It's it, it, it just showing it, you know. That's usually like the first time kids are hearing about it. Bro, it's this thing called porn. So, that a lot of kids... Are getting their sexual education from porn horrible spot uh, let, let's just let that be no horrible place you know to to actually get sexual education it's not educating you about anything not teaching you about anything you know it's just make you happy sexual exploration and expression you can explore what you like because of porn you can explore different avenues you know how you want to sexually express yourself. Stress relief. I done already laughed at that one. Y'all already know. Like, end of the day, hey, hey, I gotta get one off. Improves your intimacy. Couples, they watch it together. Oh, I like that, babe. Do that move on me. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Oh, no, that, that's not it. That's not it. But this, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that exploration part. You know, it kind of combined, but it, it's, we don't improve intimacy. Normalizes sexual diversity. This sexual, you know, this is normal. That's something to be scary, scared about. That's something to be scared about. Now, some of these, you know, sexual activities, like I said, it said, oh, it's a wide range. It showcases a wide range of stuff. Body types, orientations, you know. Yeah, some of that, eh, eh, eh. Yeah. And then the ep economics benefits. Somebody is getting this money and pocketing it, y'all. I like let's be real. <laughs> no, that's not my my porn advocate. Bro, this is Chat GPT. Chat GPT made this list, not me. Economic benefits. Somebody is getting that money though. Like, let's be real. Somebody is getting to the money on this. I know females that's rich off of this. We gonna act like OnlyFans wasn't a the thing. They was getting straight to that money. 
And the thing about when you ask Chat GPT what are the benefits of porn, y'all know it's going to be it's going to express this stuff in the positive light. It's going to express it in the positive light. I hope they ask the opposite of this. You know, what are the negative effects of porn? You know, you ask the benefits, you got to ask the opposite as well. But from this list, you know, that is what it is. Into the economy through production, distribution, and related services. Ask many porn stars what happened when they were in the industry. See if it was a great life that they had. Now, to be fair to ChatGBT, because a lot of kids use ChatGBT today, we also asked what are the negative effects of porn. Right. Here's what ChatGBT had to say. Number one, addiction. Number two, intimacy problems. Excessive consumption can create emotional and physical distance between partners. Number three, social and ethical concerns. Porn often objectifies participants, reducing them to mere objects of sexual gratification. Number four, impact on young people. Premature exposure, easy access to porn can lead to early exposure among children and teenagers, affecting their understanding of sex and consent. Number five, health concerns, mental health. Regular consumption can be linked to issues like anxiety, depression, and low self-esteem. Impact on productivity. Porn can be a significant distraction, leading individuals to spend excessive amounts of time watching it instead of focusing on productive activities. So now you'll talk to... We gotta run down that list. We gotta run down that list. The psychological impact. Porn is addicting. I know I was addicted. At, definitely at one point. I was definitely addicted. For a long time. And a lot of us are. Or were. You know. Addicted. That's, it. That, that, that's number one. It gives you that dopamine hit. And like they said. How we spin it. With them benefits. This is a stress relief. <laughs> so, when really, you're addicted. Let's be real. Intimacy problems. It can create, yes. Porn is, is fake. Yes. If you expect porn in the bed, I feel sorry for you. You sure is. If you expecting, if you expecting that, you have to understand how porn is created to understand how fake it is. To even understand that, okay, with everything that's going on in those scenes, yeah, and it's a, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. Social and ethic concerns, yes, you are a sexual, they are objectifying. You are now a sexual object. And it will, you know, perpetuate into how you, how you treat people. Young people, that early exposure, I'm telling y'all, I was exposed probably 6th grade, 6th grade, and from that point on, I probably watched it almost, you know, a lot. Health concerns, yeah, it just leads to, that's just the whole false stuff, Every, all that stuff's false. Impact on productivity. You gonna stop doing what you gotta do to get that off. Ah, man, I'm stressed. I'm tired of this. Let me go get one off real quick and I'll get back to it. Some good negative effects. I, I think. Good, good stuff, chat. Productive activities. So now you'll talk to a lot of people. Some people say, you know, porn, what's wrong with porn? Nothing's wrong with porn. And some are saying, wait a minute, what are you talking about? It's horrible for you. Here's an exchange between Candace Owens and Cardi B. Candace Owens says on May 21st, 2024, ban pornography. It's a psychological weapon intended to weaken our men. And then Cardi B responds back and says, oh my God, why are y'all so against porn? Is it that bad for y'all? I enjoy it, but I don't know, I guess like a six time a year thing. I personally don't feel no connection or addiction to it. Just a little a quick one or two nothing like real intimacy and then cardi b says how it actually should teach men how to please a woman now i'm 45 <laughs> while i was in germany in the early 90s here the show was baywatch everybody watched david hasselhoff and boom pamela anderson shows up right i think her name was cj in the show if i'm not mistaken so what happens to her people are in love she dates this guy videos released pamela anderson then talks about the dark side of porn you think pamela anderson is a little bit qualified to talk about the dark side of porn here's what she had to say about it and I, I think, think we why? need a sensual revolution because in the age of technology, there's so much access and 
and I, I feel like it's people are becoming desensitized, mm. and um, there's there's and the multiple visual um, images that get weirder and stranger, and it's a, it's a big concern. I have children, and I two teenage boys, and and you have a child, yeah, I have and a it's fourteen year old boy. It's worrisome, and I talk to a lot of mothers, and I know I'm part of the problem. I should probably disqualify myself from this whole situation because I was in Playboy, and I um, had a tape stolen from my home and exploited all over the world, and people saw things that they should have never seen. But I didn't think Playboy was porno pornographic. No, and I, I think to say people, I'm sure, will say Pamela yes, Anderson is yes. saying don't watch porn. Hang on, you know, she I'm did naked. Tip. I'm not. Have you ever been treated like a porn star in bed? It's no fun at all. Slapped, yeah. hit called names, spit on, you know, that's sex. And have you days. experienced I that? have, and I never want to have that happen again. Because I think people also put that image on me thinking they have to be wild and crazy. And then I'm thinking, God, you know, this porn addiction, when a woman who is, you know, living, breathing, lying in bed and your husband's in the bathroom with a computer, there's something going on that's not normal. I, I can't imagine any husband of yours being in the bathroom with a computer, you know, yes. getting married to you. Yes. Is that something and, you've and experienced? Yes, I have. That man was trying to spit game. They don't work out too well for him, right? <laughs> but even thing. she's saying no, this with hilarious. two boys she's raising. Hey, <laughs> you know, hilarious. treat girls this way. They're not interested in this. They're not interested in that. So I personally uh, uh, have had experience with different friends and associates within the, uh, the effects of porn, what it's had in them in marriage, personal life, single, all that stuff. And I'll give you my experience here. But a few things. When you look at numbers, 4% of websites today in America, porn sites. 13% of web searches, porn. That means one out of six searches on Google are about porn. 20% of mobile searches, porn. 87% of pornography being consumed are by men, 13% women, 93% of boys, and 63% of girls will be exposed to internet porn before turning the age of 18. The average age of first exposure is now 11 years old. Some surveys even say eight years old. So what do these stats mean? I mean, when it comes down to singles, our birth rate today is the lowest it's ever been. Why is it the lowest it's ever been? Porn is accessible to you, to your phone, no matter where you go. At least in the 90s or 80s, it was DVD or VHS. Now it's right here, anytime. So I have an option to going on a date with a girl or oh, let me just pull up a porn real quick yeah no more motivation to want to go out there and meet somebody that drive to want to go meet with somebody watch us here now few research found that 47 percent americans say dating is harder now than it was 10 years ago and by the way for some of you like come on man i mean who cares leave them alone let's think like a libertarian let people do whatever they want to do with their bodies totally understand but i tell you one thing if i got my enemy that i'm going up against and you know a lot of people hate america and if i wanted to find a way to get their men to be weak and crippled and low energy and just drive us out to not want to compete, I maybe would pr introduce a lot of porn to the U.S. Matter of fact, why don't we look at some data? What percentage of websites porn are hosted in the U.S.? You ready? Here's data. The top 10 host countries for websites containing pornographic content. Who do you think is number one? U.S. 60% worldwide. There's 8, 9 billion people living in the world. We got 340 million of it. 8 billion. 340 million of it is ours, which is what? Roughly 4%? We got 4% of the population, yet 60% of the porn. Why? Netherlands, number two, is 26%. They're pretty competitive, apparently. U.K., 7%. <laughs> then it drops off to Germany, France, Canada, Australia, Japan, Czech, and Virgin Islands. 60 percent in U.S., you think that produces stronger men that want to go out there and compete and do stuff? I don't know. This is definitely going to be hurting the younger generation, not necessarily people that are at a different age bracket. This hurts the younger generation more than the rest. By the way, at least back in the days, you watch porn. It was just a video, right? Today, you can actually have a relationship with the porn star on a website called OnlyFans with over 120 million registered users. And on OnlyFans, 2 million content creators. OnlyFans has an average of 420 million monthly active users and when a research and a study was done female creators on OnlyFans face harsher consequences compared to male creators a 2021 report from Avery Center found that 34 percent of OnlyFans creators surveyed reported negative mental or physical health effects like anxiety depression shame and low self-esteem when you put your body out there and you're making money everybody else sees it you go to work you go anywhere it's like oh I just saw your stuff on a video that does something to you it Say, ought to do yeah. something to you I, if you do go yeah, through it so now here's my thoughts on porn Ooh, before he get his thoughts out, boy, 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 boy. Them, th that's some some interesting facts, and I, I feel that. Especially if you want to make you know the young people less motivated to do a lot of things, especially men. Give them porn. They gonna watch it. Get one off. Uh, I don't want to do that no more. I'm good. Yeah. I was going to go on a date with this girl, you know, possibly get some real stuff. Or I can just, you know, uh, 
It's that easy. It's that easy. More accessible than ever, for sure. For sure. You know, you hear those stories back in the day where they used to be like, yeah, I had it, had it on the TV, had it on the on the channel that I shouldn't have been watching, and then I had it on Disney Channel, and you just click that back button real quick. You ain't got to do that no more. You on your phone, your parent busts in, you be like, yo, what's up? <laughs> you know, like, what's going on? Change. Just click off of it real quick. Change. Beforehand, you you sitting there with that button, you hear any noise, switch. <laughs> you know, you try to switch it real quick. I you had to have it on the TV, but now it's just on your phone. And I think it's a it, it's crazy, you know, in the U.S., 60%, they blasting it out in the U.S. And then I went to the Netherlands, and they blasting it there. Boy. Boy, 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 boy. 93% of young men and 63% of young women will see porn before the age 11? Is that what they said? Or was it 18? And it was many before that. The stat is still crazy. The stat is still wild. Do they have sex education in school anymore? Like, that ain't the way to stop it, though. I'm telling you, that ain't the way to stop it. Now, like, the OnlyFans does exist. And yes, I will say, I've, I've had OnlyFans before. You can have, like, a personal connection with that person. <laughs> like... They can start, like like he said, you feel like, oh, that's part of the family. <laughs> that's kind of crazy to say, but like, you know, you can get up and close, personal, with your own little personal porn star. And I don't think the people who participate, you know, you feel too much better after the fact. I don't think you feel, they feel too much better after the fact. After they've moved on with their life, after after the OnlyFans, I wonder if they have a documentary after OnlyFans. I don't think they feel too much better. I think yeah, uh, that ain't it. I, I'd be crazy going to work. Yeah, I seen your I seen your OnlyFans post. You couldn't talk about that at work though. Show sure couldn't. Show sure couldn't talk about it at work if you want to. You get in trouble, Pat. Let's see what you got to say, though. Let's let's hear your your ending on on this porn stuff. When I was in the army, we had a guy at our unit who was called the Goat. He came in. When he came to the unit, everybody would talk about this guy: big, tall, African American, E6, corner 600 VHS. Everyone's like, "Oh, what's he watching this?" All the categories. He had this. You pick and choose whatever you wanted. He had it. He was the modern day whatever porn site it is at our <laughs> unit, right? So we do watch it. Let's watch this tonight. Let's watch that tonight. I get out of the army, and when I start building a sales organization, you start experiencing and hearing about different guys that are dealing with porn in different ways. One of my guys that I was working with, his porn started like going from regular porn, then he started watching, and he watched some stuff that one day I walked in on an office. Some of the stuff this guy watched was, I don't even want to tell you what he watched, but go to what he was watching. And I looked at this guy, I said, man, you okay watching this stuff? Well, everybody has a different fetish. This is a very weird fetish, bro. This fetish <laughs> is not actually healthy for you. And this fetish is actually not healthy for society. You're going here, yeah, what's wrong with that? A lot of stuff is wrong with this. You, you shouldn't be doing this. Now, I'm not trying to judge. Everybody sins in a different way. But I was trying to encourage him to get away from that. Then fast forward, you're running a business. You know, you got husband and wives that deal with their own things. And hey, so tell me, how are things with you guys? Oh, I haven't, you know, my wife and I haven't had sex for four months. And, and it was, so you guys haven't sex for four months? No, why not? We, we just haven't had sex for four months. We thought that's normal. That's not normal. You know, no, that's, that's not normal. Why? Private conversations. If I tell you 100, I'm giving you a small number. So hundred plus conversations like this and hey you know i'm addicted to this and i'm you know i just enjoy this more than i enjoy the real sex you enjoy porn men yeah i mean some of the stuff i see here in my imaginations i'm like hurting marriages then you know you're in a relationship you're like man you know 
Tinder, you know, this, this, that, and the pursuit of the hunt of trying to go out there and meet somebody. Why would I want to get into a marriage anyway? Swipe right, less responsibility, less risk. FYI, the apps like Tinder on all these other places actually does the complete opposite of motivating a guy to want to be with a girl because he can get it at any time because the app is so accessible, especially the ones that are maybe earners, top earners, have so many options. All the other guys that are sitting there trying to find a wife and trying to build a family, those options are gone because the girls are... The, the whole thing right now is built to make men weaker and destroy them and any civilization any or any country you give me that's addicted to porn that's addicted to these types of things uh, you know i'm not one to judge but i will tell you if an enemy wants to destroy a society do whatever you can to destroy them early on the young men if you can destroy them early and you get them addicted to things like this very early on you're going to have them within the next 10 20 30 40 years it's no time until all of a sudden you've destroyed their character what's on the inside and it's at that time very easy to take them down and by the way guys this this topic uh, porn i know a lot about this because I was a manager at Bally Total Fitness in Chatsworth when 80% of the porn was being shot at Chatsworth and I met all these guys. They used to come to the gym. I was a manager of the gym. So you would always hear, see what they're going through, what they're doing, the amount of drugs they were doing to produce the films and how the dark side of it, hey, looks glorified, I'm a porn star, but on the back end, they were not happy people. A, a lot of them are not happy people. Person in the porn industry probably had a bad life. Father wasn't there. There's a lot of trauma with that, right? It's all acting that you're watching, right? I, I'm not sitting here telling you I'm a saint and I've walk on water and oh my gosh, I'm this Christian guy. I became a Christian at 25. What do you think I did the first 25 years of my life? What do you think? I'm not sitting here telling you I walk on water. All I'm telling you is if you can get ahead of this early on in your life, this can help you in a big way. If you're a father or a mother that's involved with your kids, like Pamela's talking about the stuff with her sons, a father, you gotta get ahead of this. I had the conversation about something like this yesterday, one of my kids. We ought to get ahead of them because if we don't, it's so, ex at eight years old, they're being exposed. At 11 years old, they're being exposed to this, right? This is not yeah. good for the psyche. You know how they say, wow, social dilemma, social media is so horrible for you. Oh my God, it's gonna destroy your life. That social media, how much worse is if kids get in front of this at a young age? What do you think it does to them? Wow. I don't have these, but I don't have this spot. I don't have this thing. I don't have this, that all. Oh, I'm this. Oh my God. I'm not. See, it messes with your whole thing, right? It completely messes your whole thing because that becomes your God. To each his own. This is my suggestion to you. I feel you. That's from Valuetainment, man. That was good. That was good. That was some good stuff. Definitely. I will say just realize porn is definitely fake. Let's, let's stop. Let's stop right now. Like. With all that other stuff, you know, the fantasies and all that, it's not real. And it can be very unhealthy just to to bring porn even to the bedroom, like just in, in general. Because it, it's not, a lot of that stuff's not regular. Like he said, the drugs, the, the all that other stuff, it's, it's just, it's not it. They need to start bringing sexual education back and actually conversations are the way... Are the way around it. Conversations are the way around it. That's it. Having that conversation. And he didn't even talk about how social media, you know, pushes porn as well. Like I said, you can go on, on social media any day and see booty. And any any time of the day, you go on social media, you're gonna see some booty. And that's gonna lead you Right on to that website. So, you know, what they call that? Soft porn? You gonna, you know, it's all all a cycle. So, I actually have a video, Desexualizing the Brain. That was by Gabe. A dude named Gabe. That was a great video on, on actually giving you some tools to desexualize your brain and get away from this porn addiction. So he made that video. Go check it out. I mean, it, it'll it'll help out a lot, you know. Help out. One of them is getting off social media, putting locks on your phones, different stuff like that. That'll help, cause you know we got all why porn's bad and all that, but he left out the help that people need. You know, you can have all the facts. Give me all the facts of why the porn industry is bad and all that stuff. But if you don't give me the tools to actually change, I'm not going to change. And with that, we're going to end it off right here. Thank you all for tapping in today, man. Thank you all for tapping in today. We had a great show. 
So make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment.